YouTube, Jeremy Hare here today. We're gonna talk a little bit about a little bit about skidoo crankshafts and some of the differences that there are. And I get a lot of questions about this kind of stuff. Will certain models fit other models? What parts are interchangeable? And what the differences are. So come on over here. We'll, I'll, we'll kind of kind of take a look today of what we've got. We've got four different skidoo crankshafts here. This one we'll start off with is a E-Tech. 800R crankshaft. Here, let me show you some of the differences. Um, so, the newer style crankshafts that BRP has for these ones have these gray colored rods. If it's got these gray colored rods on it, then you pretty much know it's E Tech, it's the newer style 800R. Um, P Tech as well, they'll, they'll fit, this crankshaft will actually fit either one. Um, with these style of rods. One thing you can notice about this one is, okay, one thing is, sorry, is these center bearings. Do you see how these have this groove? This groove is actually a sealed bearing, okay? It's kind of their new updated way. It's a sealed bearing. They, they work really well versus like an HO crankshaft where see it does not have that groove on the side. It, it's this bearing here. But in here, there's none, so these are not a sealed bearing. They spin really freely compared to these ones are kind of a little bit tighter. But anyway, that, that's a good sign. Um, like I say, these bearings work very well. Right over here, we have another. Let's grab this one. I'll show you a difference. So these are both Skidoo 800R crankshafts. This one here is out of a 2008 this one here is out of, I think, like a 2014. Now, they look almost the same other than the upgraded center bearings. Okay, the rods are the same. Um, so, a lot of times I get questions like, will this crankshaft fit in this engine and vice versa? The answer is yes and no. The crankshaft will fit and bolt in. Well, let me show you the, one of the problems you're going to have. So, on the newer style of engines here, we're looking at this. See this keyway? See this keyway position right here? We call this as the 12 o'clock position or at top dead center is where this lines up at. Look at this one. You see this one right here? If we put it top dead center, you see how this keyway right here is twisted? It's kind of on a, let's say a two o'clock position. So it will fit, but as you know, your timing is gonna be wrong and the engine is not going to run as it should. So if you're one of the ones that have put, that have swapped these crankshafts over and are emailing me about problems, about, you know, it's not running right, blah, 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 this is, could be one of your problems. You've got the incorrect timing. Now you can just swap mag ends and make it all work, but it's probably better just to know what you have and when you're replacing a crankshaft get the one you need that fits your engine properly okay now the next question will uh 800r crankshaft work in an ho engine or will an ho crankshaft work in an 800r engine funny thing is like two weeks ago i had a dealer um, that just rebuilds these things. He actually was doing two of these engines at the same time, mixed them up, installed the 800 HO crankshaft in the R cases. And he finally realized it when he went to put the pistons on. If you notice, right here, another way to tell, HO and non-HO crankshafts, they, this bearing, this piston pin bearing is cageless. So when you're, when you're disassembling this, and be careful because these cages can all fall everywhere. It's kind of a pain. I think there's 28 of them in total, just in case you need to count them. But this is kind of an upgraded version. But here's the difference. I don't know if you can see that. This is 800R and this is HO. 800R is a lot bigger. Look, it won't even fit. See, it will not fit in the HO as it fits in here just fine. So, no, not interchangeable. And if you do have two of them side by side, you lose track of which is which. That's the difference. HO is a lot smaller than 800R, piston pin bearing. 
Um, crazy thing is they both take 82 millimeter piston. So the pistons are, you know, we have the same problem with the pistons. We'll do another YouTube video about the pistons because oh, a lot of, a lot of questions about those as well. Um, next thing right here, this particular crankshaft. Now this is a Skidoo 800 non HO crankshaft. You can tell it's non HO because see this bearing configuration right here. Number one, these bearings are a lot narrower than the HO bearings. HO bearings are pretty wide, if you can see that. Non-HO, not as wide, and they have this seal right here to help hold the grease. Just this one bearing gets grease. Um, I'm so glad the new 850s Rotax, they went away with the greased bearings. They're all oil bath, which is great. We don't gotta mess with this Isoflex grease anymore. But anyway, so there are a couple of the differences for you. Non-HO, HO. They are different. And then in the 800Rs, you've got the early ones we call, which 07, 08, and then the rest of them are like this one. p -tech and e -tech. This is the crankshaft. Um, this is a new reman from BRP. It's got the gray rods, and it's got the sealed inner bearings, which seem to work out well. The only thing I wish they would do better is uh see this these are they're lubricated only on the one side see there's no oil slot here also up here on the top there's no oil for the for the bearing a lot of times when i get these in these are uh, purple they've been really hot here on the top that bearing does not get lubrication so this is a uh, one thing that's a good upgrade let me show you the connecting rods here's some of the some different snow x connecting rods so this is an 800 r connecting rod kit this here's an ho rod kit so you can kind you can see the size difference the 800 r's have a lot larger bearings on the big end and on the small end you gotta be able to see that really good but anyway 800 r is just a bigger bigger connecting rod all around see the size of that bearings in the in the big end and small end um one nice thing about snow x connecting rods you can see that oil, oil lubrication hole for the piston pin bearing and dual oiling on the bottom for the big end bearing okay so something to consider when you're when you're doing your rebuild uh, invest in some good snow x rods they seem to work great any more questions guys feel free to uh you can reach me at snowxparts at gmail.com and happy rebuilding and riding guys Thanks. see ya